Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm the Angry Summer and today's video is a summer custom content lookbook, I guess is what you could call it. Um, it got up to 82 degrees today and so, you know, the day before you're watching this. It was just beautiful and I did a little work in my garden and after my husband gets home we're going to go over to his parents' house and go kayaking. It's just a beautiful, wonderful, warm day here in Missouri and it's so nice because it's been so cold and so rainy and I'm just, I'm done with the bad weather and I'm ready to be on the water and in the sun and just enjoying life <laughs> the way that you do summer so and it's funny because the whole thing like with this weather has been making me want to move to like Arizona um, or Nevada um, or California wherever just places that have continuous sun um, so yeah <laughs> so I thought I would do a summer lookbook so that you guys could have some custom content to take a look at that uh, you know felt a little fun I'm basically wearing this outfit right now like <laughs> Um, <laughs> I, because we're going kayaking, I have some like running shorts on because they are good. Like because they're sweat wicking, they're really good. If you get them wet, they tend to dry pretty quickly. And then I have, uh, this like sweat wicking fishing shirt tied around my waist because it might get colder on the water, but I think it's only supposed to drop to like 61. So I don't think I'll actually even need it, but just in case, you know, I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be prepared. So <laughs> with my luck though, it's probably going to be like paddle probably like throw water into my kayak and get it soaking wet because I'm not going to keep it around my hips while I uh, paddle because that will like guarantee that somehow I'll wiggle around and then it'll fall into the lake because that's kind of luck I have. Um, speaking of that sort of thing, so Pat has started, Pat if you don't know is my husband by the way, um, hi welcome new people, I you know I don't say my own name but I'll say my husband's a million times. <laughs> Anyways, um, he has been watching the like the leading bass fisherman in the United States has a YouTube channel and then there's a couple guys down in Georgia who do diving videos and we have been meaning to get our diving license for a couple years now but every time we go to take the class or we schedule to take the class which means we've wasted a lot of money on this I get bronchitis and you like and it takes me a couple months to get over bronchitis so um it just, we need to do it in the summer, I think is what's going to have to happen. Um, when we first were starting to try and do it, my husband worked for a motorcycle company and uh, his hours just weren't cohesive with it. But now he gets off work at 3.30 and we, so we might be able to make it up to the facility in time. Because uh, like <laughs> when those lessons were going on, um, or well, when he was working there, because the lessons are always the same time. Uh, the class started at 5, so yeah, we could totally make it because we go up to our gym for appointments at 5 o'clock. Anyways, um, yeah, so we, <laughs> every time we go to do it, I get bronchitis and you can't dive while you're sick, like sinuses, allergies, none of that. It's really bad to have that pressure on your nose or on your, um, any sort of your respiratory system. And uh, so yeah, so, but we, I kind of given up on it because I just kept getting bronchitis and uh, we hadn't ordered our wetsuits or any of the uh, like the major equipment. Like we have fins and we have masks um, and like snorkels, but and we've paid for the class, <laughs> but um, but we don't have the really big expensive stuff. So that's the only thing. <laughs> and uh, but I really want to do it. I had a dream when I was a kid, like several times, of being on the bottom of a pool and communicating through sign language. Uh, about going up on the top. Now, as a kid, the dream I interpreted like the the top of the water was solid, like we couldn't get through it, and I didn't think of us like having tanks or anything. But I was dreaming about scuba diving since I was a kid, so <laughs> maybe you know, maybe we'll get to do that this summer. Um, we've always wanted to, and yeah. So hopefully, my I don't get bronchitis again. Since you guys already know, if you've been watching the channel, that I've already had it for the entire month of March. So yay! Maybe I've gotten my you know month of bronchitis out of the way already for this year. But I still like I'm still not 100%. We are almost halfway through April, and like I still can't breathe as well. The Monday was the first time that I've been back to the gym seriously since getting bronchitis, and that's a big issue for me because. I'm, you know, I've invested in a personal trainer. I've invested in this gym membership to really get myself into really good shape. My um, personal trainer has these amazing arms. Like she has 
guns. And I want my arms to look like hers so bad, but if I can't breathe, I can't lift. So it's a problem. But my collarbones are starting to like really like, they're like bam collarbones right now, thanks to the stuff I have been able to do. So, um, and that's something that I, I like. I like a good solid collarbone. So, <laughs> oh, this is the weirdest voiceover you guys have hear, heard in a long time, isn't it? So let's talk about the CC a little bit. I I don't know what's going on. I bounce between Alpha and Max's match so much. Like her hair is clearly Alpha. Like that is some hardcore Alpha hair right there. All of that stuff by um, Aiden, Adele, Addy. I don't. I can't remember the um, the creator's name. But you can see all of it right there in that one group. She makes some incredible hair and the the strands in it and the detail. I just oh you're. You're a you are a wizard. Yes, you are a wizard. Um, and so, like, these shorts are alpha. But then the skirt, or not the skirt, but the overall dress and then the first outfit really turned out pretty Max's match. So I don't know. Um, I downloaded this today, like, this little uh, bandu bandeau top. And I was like, I have to use it. I have to somehow. And I actually already, like, recorded one of these and then went outside and did some work in my garden and then came back. And I was like, nope, I'm going to re-record this because I couldn't get that top to work the way I wanted it to work. It was making me so upset. So eventually I did find the piece that I wanted to go over it. But, you know, it took me a minute, but I wanted it to show. I wanted it to be a feature of the outfit and it's just not on a lot of these. Um, so eventually I do find it, but this was supposed to be like a swimsuit cover up. So there it is. A lot of boys in my high school would do that particular thing where they put, um, a t-shirt over and then they like cut the sleeves out and eventually girls started doing it but you couldn't like run around you know the same way the boys did because that's indecent exposure <laughs> and like in high school with my marching band and soccer teams and different stuff that I did um, girls weren't allowed to wear those the boys could as long as like it wasn't completely their nipples showing like it had to at least cover that but <laughs> you know, it's still like this weird double standard but we weren't allowed to like have swim shirt swim sh so, I don't know, swim top showing so anyways we are all done here thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>